introverts, how did you meet your girlfriend? After months of spending less than 20 minutes sober drove myself to a hospital for detox. Finally got up to the unit at about 1am where I proceeded to be given a bunch of drugs to help me sleep and reduce the chances of a seizure. Woke up the next day for breakfast in my scrubs highly confused and there she was. She had been in detox a full day before me and this one allowed you to bring your own clothes and shit so she was dressed in her sweats. For some odd ass reason she saw me, barely aware, unshowered for 2-3 months and thought he looks hot. Proceeded to spend the next seven days in a locked unit only talking. After which we both went to our separate treatments detox was combined detox and counseling that specialized in getting people into treatment directly from the hospital. Only contact we had from then on was about 20 minutes total of phone time but we wrote letters to each other every day. It's been almost nine months now and we had very dark parts of our relationship where we both relapsed but now we are both over three months sober. Focus on our our individual recovery first. I couldn't be happier I finally found my best friend who loves me for who I am and has helped me grow in so many areas. I know nobody is going to really read this but I want someone to see it so thank you to whoever does. After four years of no dating following a crushing breakup, a mutual friend called to my attention she was into me I was oblivious. I didn't know her very well, but I was ready to try again. I wasn't even sure I was very attracted to her but I figured it couldn't hurt to go out on a date with a nice girl. We hit it off. She's pretty shy, which is why she said she'd never had had the courage to try to talk to me. In the course of the first date I'm slowly realizing she's amazing. Many years later, now we have two kids and there's just a lot of love in our lives equals D. She just started talking to me and never stopped. I met a girl on the internet. Let's call Get M. She was outgoing, social, very extroverted and maybe a tad crazy. She came to visit me, about seven hours drive away, and I awkwardly tried not to make an ass of myself. While visiting, she said hey, a friend of mine from high school is on a co-op, intern term in, city very nearby. We should go meet up with her for an afternoon. Let's call that friend K. K was nerdy, awkward, introverted, and I completely re-evaluated what I wanted in a partner within the first five minutes of meeting her. K and I both slowly lost contact with M, and to this day we aren't sure if she knows that we became a couple a few years later, or that we got married. Someday, we're going to run into her and it's going to be really funny. Blind date. That was 10 years ago. The guy who set us up dropped off the face of the earth before I ever had a chance to thank him. Like, he just fell off the edge. She asked me if I wanted to play Mario Kart. I said yes. I met her at a gaming club. I was playing D&D. &D. She was hanging out with the MTG crowd. She caught my eye from afar but, being an introvert, I never went up to her. All my social energy was being spent on the D&D. &D. I had none left to leave my close friend group and greet someone new. If there's one hobby you can do while being solitary it's writing and that eventually led me to NaNoWriMo. I got to talking with some of the people on the local forums and one of them turned out to be her. She invited me to a write-in with a bunch of locals. I didn't really want to go out, but now this girl I liked was directly inviting me out. I couldn't say no. We became NaNo buddies for the next couple of years, and started hanging out outside of that. We spent many nights during her senior year of college hanging out at her apartment watching various shows and writing together. Then she graduated and moved away, and we slowly lost contact. Flash forward four years. I'm still single, a semi-regular poster on R, Forever Alone, and resigned to living single for the rest of my life. She pops up on Facebook again. We'd been Facebook friends since before she moved away, but she rarely used the site. Now we're chatting, and soon the chatting moves to Skype. She's thinking about moving back into town and wants to know if I'd go around looking at apartments with her. She does the several hour drive and we look at a few places hang out for a while, then she goes home. A few weeks later she tells me about this cool nearby theme park. She does the several hour drive, we hang out for a while, then she goes home. This goes on for a month or two and I'm just the densest idiot that ever deserved to be an evolutionary dead end because I'm not realizing people don't just drive for hours to spend a little time with a friend. Finally, in the most adorable Skype message I've ever gotten, she asks me if the next time she comes down it could, maybe, 
possibly, if I wanted to, be a date. I told her I'm someone who enjoys happiness so of course yes. That was two years ago, we're getting married in July, and we still laugh at how dense I was. At a garage sale, well, technically my mom's garage sale, my father was a hoarder, but not of old newspapers or glass bottles or garbage. He hoarded consumer goods, tools, CDs, home improvement stuff, camping gear, hunting and fishing stuff. The man had piles and piles of it stuffed into his home, most of it pretty high quality, all bought on clearance. The old man was a sucker for a deal, even if he didn't have a use for it. After he passed away, it fell to us to figure out what to do with a stock of overstock goods large enough to open a store, so we sold it at rock bottom prices in the front yard. As is tradition, it was a miserably hot summer's day. My mom requested that I come over and help, because the house was on a well-trafficked street, and the sheer volume of stuff meant there would be tons of people. She was right there'd been a zillion people the day before, and though we'd sold a lot of stuff, there was much more yet to go. And today, I'd put an ad up on Craigslist it was even busier. It was a long day of haggling with strangers. But at the end of the day, we'd sold 90% of the load, and we were just getting ready to close up and celebrate our success with pizza. Then this car pulls up, and out hops this gorgeous girl. She starts poking around in the CDs first, finds a couple she loves, then waves me over and starts asking about some she's unfamiliar with. Think she thought that since she'd found a few things she liked, the stuff she hadn't heard might be in the same vein, not knowing it was purchased indiscriminately from bargain bins all over town. I answer as best I can I hadn't heard most of them, but I was able steer her to a couple she might enjoy. We kept chatting, and I sort of showed her around in between helping other people who kept showing up. There was definitely an instant attraction, and some really great conversation. She had to get going, so I made her a sweetheart deal on the stuff and helped her to her car. She got in, drove away, and then I realized, I hadn't gotten her number. My brother and my neighbor had a f***ing field day at my stupidity, but, she told me where she worked at a restaurant down the road, and she told me the days she was usually scheduled, so I did something very unusual for me, and pursued it. Friday afternoons, I drive over from my office and ask to sit in her section. The food was terrible, but she'd stop and chat as long as it wasn't busy, and I caught her mirror in a few times. So on my third visit, I told her I'd love to see more of her and asked for her number. Ten years. A marriage and a child, and we're still head over heels for each other, so I guess I owe my dad for the posthumous hookup. Both of us work at a grocery store. I saw her and thought that she was the cutest there but never really did anything about it. She works as a cashier and I work in produce. She would always do the reshop and I soon realized that she was doing that for a reason and started flirting with her back. We have been together 11 months now introvert boyfriend tinder his picture was him hanging upside down from a tree and his bio said proof that nerds grow on trees we both made it clear we were looking for a relationship met up the day we matched for coffee hit it off and that was that he was in the corner drinking a bottle of water i noticed him immediately and i noticed him noticing me for the better part of an hour i finally just walked up to him after i figured he was too shy to approach me we chatted for about two hours and then left later in school we exchanged our aol screen names and that after weeks of random chat sessions he finally worked up the courage to ask if i wanted to see a movie harry potter natch during the date, he didn't say anything but I noticed him very fidgety so I decided to hold his hand. After the movie, we were sitting his car in silence and he was fidgety again, so I grabbed his face and kissed his cheek. He turned completely red but was grinning ear to ear. In person, he had trouble stringing sentences together but online we would chat for hours. He had to express his love via email and cuddling without saying a word. We first met over 14 years ago, bought a house together and getting married in October, going to Disney and Universal for our honeymoon, celebrate Halloween. It's pretty much amazing. As we get older, he's gotten much more vocal but I still do most of the talking and socializing. We do a squeeze squeeze when holding hands to mean love you if we don't want to talk. Love him to pieces introvert girl i met my husband on xbox live halo 3 almost 10 years ago been married for six years now how the f like how teach us
well, I was randomly put in a game with him and one of his friends. The whole time his friend kept telling me that my now husband was fat and my husband kept saying no I'm not. Then I was in five games in a row with him and he never sent me a friend request so I sent him one. He claims he was playing hard to get. Also, turns out he wasn't fat. Who knew? I met my husband while I was shopping. I spent a good six weeks buying incredibly overpriced avocados from the shop he works at and then after coincidentally winning at Fruit Box Weekly Draw, I added him on FB through the shop's FB page. Minor stalker alert here and just asked him out. And here we are, a year later, married. Bonus. The avocados are now free. I told her, if I weren't so socially inept, I'd be trying to have a conversation with you. Married almost nine years. We're both introverts. But I definitely can force myself to be bold. I was a waitress at a restaurant he came into. He asked to borrow my pen. I told him only if you write down your number. Sometimes introvert guys need a girl who is not afraid to make the first move. We've been together almost 14 years now. BRB getting rid of all my pens.